Yo, what is going on you guys? This is your boy Talania Plays bringing you back with another Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League video. It's another reaction video. It's a 20 minute video, but without further ado, it's already they dropped the they dropped the first episode of Suicide Squad Inside Episode 1. Without further ado, let's do this. Where are we going? And who are we killing? I'm Darius Sadegian, studio director at Rocksteady Studios. Here we go. My name is Axel Ridby, and I'm the game director here. Eyes up, people! Let's go. At Rocksteady, storytelling and character depth are the core DNA of our game. These are not features, but Rocksteady fundamentals. With Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, I mean, we wanted to tell a new story. We wanted to expand the Arkham verse. Yes. Coming from Batman, where it was just from his perspective, just from his lens. Arkham now getting City. to see the world through the villain's eyes was really the hook for us. Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League is a third person action shooter that can be played solo or with your friends. It's nice. a story driven game that highlights Rocksteady's experience in bringing characters to life. As a Suicide Squad, you'll be forced to take on an absolute impossible mission. You must kill the Justice League. We want the mechanics of the game to really reflect the personalities of the squad. Yes. I'm always first on the trigger. We want their moves to be flamboyant, exaggerated, chaotic. Oh. Now, our four members of Task Force X find themselves inside Metropolis. I like Harley. At twice the size of there. Gotham City in Arkham Knight. It's big, it's loud, it's a battlefield. It's a place built for verticality, mobility, the unique fusion of I like controversial it. gunplay and melee weapons, creating a supervillain empowerment that we think is a totally original gameplay experience. Okay. There was just an opportunity there to expand into co-op and have this dynamic world where friends can come together to share an experience. Or players can go solo, switching character members between missions while savoring each and every story twist. Do you feel it? The swell of pride for what we have accomplished together. We want to welcome you all to the first episode of our new series, Suicide Squad Insider, where we will provide a deeper look into Suicide Squad to kill the Justice League. Superman! Over the next few months, we'll be unpacking the game answering your questions and sharing a few surprises as we move closer to our launch on February 2nd. We'll also cover how Rocksteady will continue to support the game and its players post-launch with a huge amount of free content. Oh, In this episode, okay. you're gonna hear from different members of the Rocksteady team as we explore more of the game's story, the world of Metropolis, and the core gameplay experience. The Suicide Squad. A fitting moniker. Let's jump into it. Let's do this. Normally when you make a game in a superhero universe, the protagonist is the best person for the job. The squad are Flash. definitely not the best people for this job. They're the only people available. Hey, Suicide Squad! Fuck you! Language! So it gives the narrative and the gameplay a kind of frantic, slightly panicked feeling where they are trying to figure this out as they go. The Arkham games weren't gritty because Rocksteady makes gritty, dark games. They were that way because that's what suits a Batman story. Exactly. Every game we approach, we approach that with a similar mindset of just like, how do we enhance that experience? How do we excite players in new ways? Yeah, new criminal record. For the studio to try something new and stretch our legs, or they shoot first and with the high, powerful traversal elements, was coming out of our comfort zone somewhat, but we wanted to see what we could do to put an Arkham spin on the action shooter space. Now get your damn gun out! In true Rocksteady style, the cinematics are the, kind of the heart of our story. It's the most cinematics that we've ever done, and every one of them Pause is well, crafted to perfection. Up. We're not just trying to do what we did before, we're making something which fits the source material that we think will make for an interesting story, but will feel different. To introduce you to our story, let's jump into an early part of the game. Oh! Amanda Waller, the director of the government agency Argus, sends the team behind enemy lines into Metropolis. Harley Quinn, should you not be more cautious? She ain't wired that way. Oh, Deadshot. Hidden in an underground train station, the team finds a secret elevator. Ooh. New elevator. Until we figure out where the hell we are, let's play along with... Mahler. Oh, is this 
the superhero museum. The Hall of Justice. And museums. <clears throat> I've seen it on TV. It's the Hall of Justice. So let's rob the place. <clears throat> Get down, uh, uh, idiot. <laughs> Through these doors lies the inner sanctum of the Justice League. Sounds very grand, doesn't it? And it is. She's a dame who can almost make me listen to a boring PSA. Don't touch anything that's gonna set off an alarm. I ain't fighting any supers for you. I have read much about the Justice League, and still, they are larger than I expected. Wayne in this aren't actual size, Shark Man. It's so true to the characters that they're in Hall of Justice, and the first thing they think is, what can we steal? Hey man, watch the ah shit! Glass. I'm okay. What the hell you got there? The Language. Baby was a myth. Speed force gauntlet. Back when Doc Savannah tried to lift it, flash the tip. Myth, you read. Edward Nigma's hat. You found the Riddler's hat of invisibility. Where'd the shark go? Children. Ooh, nothing says international assassin like a frickin' jetpack. I'd break my damn neck. You're probably right. Jetpacks seem more like a death drug thing anyway. Gizmo's death jetpack. Mine. Oh, wow. Like, this is gonna be really fun. That, uh, hat's not gonna get you vertical, Shark. I can make my own way up. Yeah, Let's King Shark's gonna be my main guys. Let's get up on that roof and get our freedom back. King Shark's gonna be my main. So here we're taking these iconic characters who don't typically traverse the way they do in our game. But that's the beauty of our storytelling. We've managed to take these unique abilities and make that an extension of their personalities. Our power is undeniable! We loved working with Gotham and making that a world for players to experience. And we wanted to do that with a new location. Good to get out of that place. Ooh. There's Brainiac ship. We felt that Metropolis was the natural next step to extend that. And what better way to introduce it than through an invasion from Brainiac with no Justice League to save them? Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? The entire game is about fighting behind enemy lines. Oi, Wallet! What the hell have you sent us into? It's a bloody war zone out here! There's a giant skull in the sky! Congratulations, Task Force X. You're the first assets to make it into Metropolis alive. We're sending a signal transponder to your location. So you're essentially in Brainiac's backyard. Ooh. Your orders 
Soldiers are to activate that transponder. Okay. Harley. I find Harley interesting. With a traverser. What the hell are those things? And there's no civilians left. We can either kill them or make them into soldiers to do his bidding. Oh through this corruption, my. the people of Metropolis have become extensions of Rainy. You gotta be joking, right? Hey guys! Thinking I shouldn't eat that extra tapioca pun for lunch! What the player knows from our title and what the Suicide Squad is about to find out is that here the Justice League are the bad guys. They've been corrupted by Brainiac and over the course of the game, John your Stewart. mission will be to kill them. Ugh, Green Lantern! Nice! Hey, your face always looks so... what? Harley doesn't have any innate superpowers, so to go up against these beings that have incredible strength, it's it's a challenge. I'm in the middle of a recon with Brainiac. Let's walk and talk. <laughs> You're talking about, you know, the all-star team and Joe. Here. I want you to see this. Pay attention, Floyd. Let me go Looks bad, feels worse. But once you've been enhanced, there's no going back. Outstanding. When you face off against the most iconic characters in all of superhero them in the Justice League, it's by many uh, people's definition an impossible task. You're searching for stragglers, augmenting Brainiac's army. The shot gets it. The stakes that Rocksteady sets, the challenges they heap upon you as a player. Time to rally up with Brainiac. Ready to make the leap? You know immediately, like, this is the tallest task I will ever take on in a video game. Flash! Brainy, I wondered how you got off the ship. Speedster secret. The League doesn't leave anyone behind. Let's make you right, buddy. You know, that's just what I was gonna say. You're gonna be fighting the Justice League. Hey, Metropolis! There's nothing more high stakes than the boss battles we have in this game. These are gods like Green Lantern, Batman, Superman, The Flash. Yes. So, what's the plan? At that point, the game really opens up. We start to see players look at their weaponry and really ask the question, like, how am I going to kill the Justice League? Yeah, looking forward to killing the Justice League and all, but, uh, well, you know, these guns are a bit shit. <laughs> no offense. Then head northwest. That's the last known of a Gotham arms dealer who's dug into Metropolis. Oswald Cobblepot. Freaking penguin! You want to last more than 10 seconds against the League? Shh. Cobblepot's been running anti-meta weapons for years. I want him recruited and brought back to the Hall of Justice. Oh, I'm gonna recruit the shit out of him. <laughs> Since Batman Arkham Knight, the Penguin is no longer confined to Gotham City. He's made really? a name for himself in Metropolis as the authority on anti-meta human weapons. Now, Waller wants the squad to recruit him for Argus. I see you've already stolen traversal equipment. You'll need it to stay off the streets. Setting a new recon point. Go. At the heart of each character's playstyle is their traversal. Traversal gives the player total freedom. Every character has their own way of getting around that determines oh, how wow. the player moves through this world. Don't like to buzz. But how great was I? The traversal controlling a superhero character is, is fun. It's a power fantasy for all players. Just moving they around. They wanted movement through the city to be fun. Just existing and moving around. I'm a brawler type, so I love King Shark. Metropolis is quite a normal city. Well, as normal as a city can be in this universe. We spend a lot of time trying to get that art direction correct, trying to get the feel for it correct. You get to see okay. the DC law that builds Superman. Space. Let me do the talking with Penguin, okay? Not just a building, it's a daily planet. You know, there's a lot we can inject into the city that makes it more than just a city. Oh, penguin is not truly a penguin. <laughs> yeah, mate. And I'm not a boomerang. It is known for its North size, its scale. Anything from the DC law, you look at Metropolis as the city of tomorrow. When did Penguin get out anyway? Out. He was barely in. Money talk, creeps walk, you know. I hear that. It's just a great way for players to experience Metropolis in a new way.
G'day, Pango. Remember me? No. Ain't this a right rogues gallery? Who's the big bleeder? Think his cousin used to work for me. Ooh, which one? Uh, both of them out of a circus. We're getting the hell out of the city before Argus finds us. You in? But we are working for Argus. You bloody what? Real slick, Shark. Good talk. Nice catching up. Give my regards to the locals. Traversal is at the very core of our game. You will need to be on the move and master each character's movements if you want to succeed. All this grapple is made to let her take advantage of the environment to quickly get out of troublesome situations. Or she can use it to quickly close the distance to introduce them to her baseball bat. Oh, okay, so she'll be Swing shooting at melee. Event, the trooper shield to flank them. It can also let her catapult herself into the air to shoot the corrupted from above. Now that you've seen some of Harley's combat in this scene, Let's explore the rest of the squad's unique playstyles in other encounters. Captain Boomerang uses a mix between sniper rifles, SMGs, and shotguns. What's cracking? Each character has an iconic melee attack that can be used to create what we call juggle kills and also break enemies' shields. Juggling an enemy with a melee attack means they take guaranteed critical hits from all guns for a short period after. Nice. Shoot enemies in their legs and then close the distance to do a shield harvesting strike to get some shield back. Okay, so you got shield in this. Let's shift focus to King Shark. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see some King Shark. King Shark is literally death from above, which he gladly shows with his Atlantean drop attack. He's the character that can take the most punishment. Heavy weapons, assault rifles and shotguns, and his trusted cleavers, sickles and combat knives for some brawling action. For the bigger enemies, each character gets a super powerful single target attack. The suicide strike. This one-shots any enemy hit, but it takes longer to recharge, so it's important to use it tactically. Finally, Deadshot. See, you're low caliber, and I'm high caliber. His traversal is made to let him create his own vantage points. This works great with his weapon loadout, sniper rifles, assault rifles, and pistols. For more, I can't wait for myself Deadshot and uh, uh, the guys play this. One thing we really wanted to bring into this game was a reimagined version of the Arkham counter system, and mix that with our traversal and shooter gameplay. Introducing counter shot. Each enemy has a different reaction to the counter shot. Some will be stunned, some will take damage, some will be interrupted and then get really annoyed. Now let's take a look at Harley absolutely demolish Brainiac's forces with all these tools. Oh, man, wow. do we have a job for you? Tell him, Quinn. You're making guns for us now, bird brain. Thanks for joining us for episode one of Suicide Squad Insider. <laughs> what? I already started, so I followed through. In the months leading up to our launch on February 2nd, 2024, we're looking forward to sharing more details and insights about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I'm excited, let's go! In our next episode, we'll be deep diving into more gameplay, combat mechanics, and how to take a fight to the enemy in your own unique style. I want to show you what happens next. Let's call it a sneak preview. We really want players to feel like they explored all these sneak characters preview. that we bring to life in this DC Lex universe. Lex Luthor! I'm going to enjoy this. You're starting with characters who aren't very powerful, and through the story, you're learning how to use their skills and become powerful. We really wanted to deep dive into the RPG system. You have your enhanced traversal, you have gunplay, you have weapons, there are upgrades and unique talents. Yes! And all of that stuff fusing together to create this kind of unique experience. Together, we are unstoppable. Join me! Are you kidding? <laughs> Too soon! <laughs> <gasps> Pre-order! Can we pre-order? We can pre-order! It looks like they've, they've got pre-orders. Let's go, that was hype. That was hype, guys. That was really hype. 
So all I can say, let me just play this in the background without any sound. All I can say is, is that this trailer was this uh, in-depth look into the uh, story game story and gameplay is very very unique i'm very happy for it but i want to hear from you guys in the comment section below what do you guys think about them doing a different angle on suicide squad kill the justice league and uh what else like what else are you looking excited i mean i saw a lot of references to the we saw justice league figures uh i think we might be getting some of those mcfarland toys possibly in the future so we gotta look out for those and obviously they t they're taking a whole new approach with this game that's basically like okay a lot of people were put off because it's sh shooter base but as a content creator you know your boy will be covering it and your boy will be playing it as as much as you know the, a lot of you guys are like i'm not into the shooter but say hey, it's a superhero game and i love dc so i i, I'm, I have to get it but I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Like, what do you think about the gameplay? What do you guys think about, like, the story elements of it? And how do you guys feel about Oswald Cobblepot being a massive role in this game um, compared to the Ar previous Arkham games? And also, what do you guys think about... What do you guys think about the uh, graphics and the, the everything? What do you guys think about it? I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Make sure you like like this video, guys. Hit that and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you're new around here. Hit that notification bell. Because when a video or a live stream that I do, you guys will be notified when I upload them. Also, I will be uh, I will be doing more content uh, with Marvel Spider-Man. And also the Super Wonder stuff with uh, Jared from Comics League. And when this game does release, guys, you bet myself, Jared, the Phoenix Press, and maybe Jay Heat will be doing live streams together as we play Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, live on stream. We're going to have a fun time just doing it together. So with that being said, I've been your boy Taladia Plays. Make sure you follow me on X at Taladia Plays underscore. That link will be in the description. Alongside, if you want to become a member, you can hit that join button. Hit that join uh, button. That's it's simple. From ninety nine cents to four ninety nine, you get to you know network with me. You can be a part of my Discord server to all these different things. Even even the likes of having games with me so if, we, if we're doing game night and if we can't get jay heat on you guys one of you guys lucky guys will be able to join us for a session to be able to play suicide squad together so with that being said like i said like comment favorite and subscribe i've been your boy taladia plays hope you have enjoyed my reaction and i'll see you guys in another exciting suicide squad video next time peace